Hey guys, today's part three of our dumbbell series. Last week we targeted those triceps, today we're gonna hit the back. So, grab those dumbbells and let's do this. Okay guys, so it's quite hard to hit all the areas of the back using just dumbbells, okay? Really, a chin-up bar or a lat pull-down would be ideal, but we're gonna try our best just using the dumbbells. So what we're gonna do is start with a single arm row. So, take a split stance like so. Left foot out in front, right foot behind. We're gonna keep that back nice and flat from the head down to the tailbone, okay? Keep the hand on the knee. And from here, keeping the shoulders pinned back, we're gonna squeeze that up, hold, and down nice and slow. Now this is one of those exercises I see people doing wrong all the time. What they try and do is lift a crazy heavy weight and they rapidly rip this up off the floor like they're starting a goddamn lawnmower. What we're looking to do is go really slow, squeeze the muscle at the top and really slow on the extension of the muscle again so that we're not pulling our shoulder out of whack. You want to keep that posture good, you want to keep that back strong, you want to keep the core engaged and you want to keep the movement nice and slick, slow and controlled. And we go for 10 of those on each side and we do four sets in total. Okay guys, so the next exercise we're going to do is another version of the row. Okay, we're going slightly higher up in the back this time. So we're going to take the dumbbells like so. We're going to take two at a time in this one, back flat, Chest high, back of the head down the tailbone perfectly straight, core engaged. What we're going to do is take a deep breath in, keeping the knees soft also. We're going to breathe out as we pull up like so. Now what I really want you to focus on is keeping those elbows up in line with the shoulders. So we're really drawing those shoulder blades back and we're not pronating the shoulders forward. It's a small movement, but you should be feeling a real good squeeze in the rhomboid region here. Six. Again, slow on the way down, seven, slow on the way back up, eight, nine, and ten. Okay guys, the next exercise I call horizontal lat pulls, okay? I don't know what other people call them, but I just go by what we're doing. All right, so we're kind of replicating a lat pull down here. Obviously, we don't have weight that we can pull down, okay? We do that with the dumbbells. Well, it just turns into a shoulder press, targets the shoulders rather than the lats. So what we're gonna do is try and replicate the movement from the prone position, okay? So we're gonna lie down on our front, Draw your belly button in towards your spine. You're gonna get the arm dumbbells stretched out in front like so. And what we're gonna do is try and squeeze those shoulder blades back and pull down one. As we breathe out, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. That's a tough little exercise, guys, but what we're going to try and avoid doing is pushing the shoulders in. Like I said before, try not to do this, okay? We're trying to keep those arms wide, so forearms stay in line with the back. As we squeeze in, breathing in on the way out, and breathing out as we squeeze up. Again, trying to pull those shoulder blades back in position, trying to trigger off the lats, working, and trying to draw those shoulders back as much as we can. Okay guys, last one we're gonna do then is another type of row, surprise, surprise. But we're going to be targeting a slightly different area of the back. So we're going to go center of the back, between the shoulder blades, the rhomboid region. What we're going to do, get down, soft knees, back flat, chest high, and we're going to turn the dumbbell this way. Okay, so fingernails point forward. And we're going to keep the elbows in tight this time, squeeze those shoulder blades back, and back nice and slow. 
Breathe out as you pull up. Three. Breathe on the way down. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Good stuff. Now, by taking that angle, we're fighting the urge again to pronate the shoulders forward, okay? We live a sedentary lifestyle these days. Everybody's got pronated shoulders. We spend too much time on our phone, we drive, we stand with our arms folded, we sit at desks all day. This is the posture we get. These exercises are trying to design to help you fight that, pull the shoulder blades back into the position that they're supposed to be, tighten those muscles at the back that are underactive, and get them to pull their weight, literally, and get you back in a good posture. Mm -hmm.